Hey all, welcome back to the DeBerge Rack channel. This is Jim, your humble host, and today I'm going to show you the vent door project and some other things we're working on this beautiful yacht. So we've been working on this project, which is a bent door frame. And if you'll notice, it has a curve that goes all the way around the sides. So that means that we need to duplicate this to match it in the other bathroom. All right, so first thing I'm gonna show you is these uh, bent door vanity that actually has a curve that rolls all the way around the sides. Once I get done showing you what we're doing in the boat, I'll show you how we built these. They're about 50% complete, and that's where I wanna show you, because if I finish them, you won't know what we did. So let's go look at the other part of the stuff that we're doing and then we'll go to the shop and check out these doors all right so y'all remember what this wall looked like before so real quick we pulled the mirrors off in here and this was the gym there's six mirrors here it's amazing the way that they installed the mirrors. They drew lines, put the double-sided tape on. Almost the squares are almost perfectly square, symmetrical. Cut the tape in between all the other lines, really nice. Measured the epoxy splotches almost perfectly because they all fill this thing up. There's 42 squares. I started to remove this one, tried it with a fine saw, cutting it off, getting the epoxy off the wall. Took a minute, 15 seconds. We got 42 squares times six. It's gonna take right around five to six hours to clean that wall up. How long did it take them to put it on? You see all that's cleaned off. The molding's been taken off the ceiling and off the floor. Now this is ready for what we're gonna to do to the top of it. And everything's clean, smooth, beautiful. That's what we like. So if you'll notice on the floor, this is the mock-up for the bed. Down here they have a um, hatch that goes to the stabilizers. So we have to make the frame of the bed that'll allow that hatch to come out. So this is a mock-up of what we're gonna make so that it can all be made in the shop. This is really not something that you can do in place. This would be the base for the bed. We'll have the same thing going on this side over here. What we're actually doing is we're going back closer to the stringers, the framing. We're gonna come in and give more storage than the way it's designed on the other side. All right, so we're in the opposing corner of the stateroom. This is where the shelving unit was. Then I had an air handler down here. Well, this is gonna turn into the closet to match the other side. So the air handler is gonna go up in this section. So we've got that cut out. We need to bring this wall out, come around. But you can see that the destruction and the cutting has been done. Everything's nice and clean. So we can go back to building. It's all part of the plan. All right, come on, let's go in the head and take a look at what we've done in here. So you can see the overheads are out. Everything's been stripped out of here that was in here, basically. Wine cabinet's been removed. We have some plumbing going on down here. We have to get, everything has to be plumbed in. So the floor gets cut out. Now we have room for a shower in this location. The vanity will go over here, which is opposite of the other room. Basically, you know, you have port and starboard. This being the port side, everything's the same, but just opposite. The vanity will go in here. The head will go over here. And you can see everything's been basically dissected to where we can start building. So we have to bring this wall out over here, six inches. The marble's gonna wrap around that. We'll have a door here. It'll be beautiful. The fun stuff is gonna happen now, because we're gonna go back to the shop and I'm gonna show you how Branco made the radius doors. My direction, his work. We take great pride in the fact that our clients trust us to return their vessels back into a usable condition from this point. Okay, so we're all back at the shop right now. This is a mold that was used to make those doors that we were talking about earlier in the video. This is the back side of it, which is basically made up with a bunch of laminates wrapped around. Turn it around, you fare the inside of the mold out. This is all tape in here to actually allow for the mold for the wax release. So you can see after the plywood was made, everything was made solid, then the inside of the mold was fared smooth, was glued up. And then you lay your doors up. Now how the doors are laid up was with light ply and they're laid up one strip at a time. So you can see each individual piece of half inch light ply was put in and glued together all the way around. And that makes a really cool door that's not stressed out. So when you're making something like that, you can do it however you want to make the mold. You can see this is a simple mold. It's a one-time use mold. It's not going to be used to make a bunch of doors. Otherwise, you'd make it a lot stronger. This mold's actually going to get thrown away, or I'll give it to my most favorite subscriber that wants it. So make your mold, whatever your shape is. Do a little strips of wood all the way around. Put it all together. Make sure the wood's glued up really good. One layer of fiberglass 
spots on there, fair that out. You got your nice mold. Then strip up your plywood. Glue it in and each individual piece gets epoxy together all the way around. What this does for you is it gives you a form that's never going to change. So I'm sure you all know about steaming and bending. There is applications for that as well when you want to actually have that material show. But that always has a bounce back. This will never have a bounce back because nothing is under stress. Now this will get a light layer of glass on the inside outside after it's fared up real nice. We'll put an ounce and a half mat on it and then we can put our wood our solid wood and our veneer over the top of it after it gets cut down to size and I really wish this had been a like we had just made a video of this one job but I think you all can get the picture when we do a little bit larger scale project we'll have a video on just making the mold and the parts that go in it but that's the beginning and we're getting closer to the end thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe send me some feedback I need a lot more comments you guys are boring me. I needed something to do at midnight. Send me some comments so I can respond. Talk at you all later. Have a good one.